There's something exciting happening in here. Aloha. Uh, I have car troubles. I want to talk about it. <coughs> uh, we're going to run. So last week, last weekend, we were camping at the Hume Lake. I didn't film any of it because we just wanted to camp and not film. It was great. It was fantastic. So everything is fine and good and then on the way back, our car starts doing weird stuff. Just weird stuff. So it's making noise and it sounds like, it sounds like a, it doesn't sound like anything. It's a hybrid vehicle. It feels like the transmission is slipping. And we're on the side of this mountain road, General Grant Road through Sequoia National Forest and it dies. Gas pedal has done nothing. And it's weird because it's a hybrid, so like the engine dies, but the car is still on. I pull off to the side of the road, which there's no shoulder, so we're still hanging in the road on this windy mountain road with a dead car. And I was like, no. No. It's around like 10 feet. <laughs> so we're stuck. And my mind immediately goes to, okay, it's a hybrid. A hybrid. Let's just turn it off and turn it back on, see what happens. Thus I did, turn the car off, let it sit for two seconds, turn it back on, and it goes. And I'm like, yes, off of the side of this road where we're hanging out in a windy road, and we get another maybe quarter mile, and it dies again. And we pull off, luckily there's at least a shoulder, but we're just barely off the road, and there's just enough space for the car and nothing else, and it's just a cliff. So I try it again, turn it off, turn it back on, and it goes again. And we still don't have cell phone service, which is why I'm kind of like, I just want to kind of get as far as we can with this on-off method. Maybe eighth mile, dies again. This time, luckily, right at a spot that has like an actual pull-off, it's an old service road. So we can actually get like a few car lengths off of the road. So that's actually the last time I can get the car to turn back on and get the engine started again is there in that spot where we luckily have cell phone service. We're able to call for a tow truck and there's all of the family, so five of us plus the dog. Tow truck guy says, I can fit like four of you max. And so I was like, oh, all right, I'm just gonna hitchhike with the dog. Family will go in the tow truck, I'll hitchhike, we'll figure it out. So we're in this spot. Hillary starts crying about the prospect of me hitchhiking on the side of the mountain by myself. And you know, pregnant emotions, all that stuff. So I, I try to console her. I'm like, look, we're in a nice safe spot here on the side. It's like 70 something degrees. It's nice, it's beautiful. We got plenty of food from camping, water. We're gonna be fine. And she's like, I know, I know, I'm just pregnant. Leave me, just let me cry. I was like, right, let's cry. <laughs> So I start calling people that I know that are like at least somewhat close to that, that national forest 
and uh, just to see who's around and who's doing what and this dog is tired I'm gonna get him home let's we'll finish this story there Hilo you all right bud are you tired dog you having trouble keeping up now let's go home Getting ready to hike. Hillary's writing me a sign so that I can have a little cardboard sign to let me know that, or let people know that I need a ride. And right at that moment, Jimmy calls me. Ball life. He's like, "You where? You what? I'm gassing up. I'm coming to get you." And I was like, "Oh, thanks." <sighs> that hill. We got scrape knees. Scrape knees. Okay, T. Enjoy those eyes. Enjoy those eyes. Okay. You gonna make it? Yeah? You gonna be okay? You got no blood? And now they're all that other one from the school that I had blood. Yeah. Never a dull moment. So Jimmy lives in Fresno. We ended up having the car towed there because it's gonna be like astronomical to have it towed all the way back home here. So we didn't do that. We, the car is actually still in Fresno right now at the Toyota service station. We dropped it off there, got the Jimmy's, and I was supposed to help with worship on the following day, which was Sunday, the next morning. And this, I didn't think I was gonna make it. I figured we'd be stuck at Jimmy's until like the, car is fixed or whatever happens we, we couldn't get a rental car because it was the weekend and it was we tried we tried really hard to get, Hillary went to the Fresno airport tried to get to like every rental car center they could at the airport and there's nothing so we're like okay we're just gonna stay at Jimmy's but I was like man that sucks it was great to spend some time with Jimmy but I also wanted to get back here to the animals and just you know get things going get prepared to take off for Tinley this weekend and I let Jordan know that we weren't going to make it for service the next morning, most likely. And he's like, what? Why? We he just told me, you know, we're stuck. We're in Fresno and this, this, that. Car's gone. Car's broken. And he's like, I'm going to come get you guys. Which is like two hours from here to Fresno. And it's like, he's going to get there at nine o'clock at night. We won't get back here until like midnight. But he did. He drove out to come get us. And it was just awesome. Having a community of folks that are just ready to help out was huge. You know, I mean, Jimmy coming to rescue me from having to hitchhike. Uh, Jordan come to get the whole family and then that car that you saw me grab my sunglasses out of this morning our, our buddy Corbin at church he let us borrow his car so we don't have to get a rental car at all until we get back on our feet with our own car which <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be but just just blessed through all out all of it man just blessed and the thing it made me realize is that I'm probably not going to go to Thailand because we have lots of expenses coming up now, unforeseen expenses with trying to get this car fixed or maybe get a new car. Because it could be that you know, if it's the hybrid battery on this thing, it could be, you know, many, many thousands of dollars to get fixed. And so I couldn't, in right mind, still go forward with this Thailand trip when I know that things are coming up. And, and there's something that I told Hillary before she ever got pregnant, when we're still deciding whether or not we're going to try. At first, I was putting it kind of all on her. And I was just like, you know, if it's up to you, it's your body. You know, you want if you want to try and for fourth kid, like I'm going to leave it up to you 100%. And then I realized at some point that wasn't really fair and that I should maybe say, well, if we do decide to get pregnant again, I will take whatever sacrifices I need to to make sure that you're supported throughout it. That is this. Then and I think that this past weekend with the car getting in trouble like that was kind of just God telling me like think about what you're gonna do with this next month. Leave your family for two weeks 
and go on a Thailand trip, which would be fantastic, phenomenal. And I'm sure Dave and Adam are going to be a combination of both sad, disappointed, or angry that I'm not coming, even though we've talked so much about that I am coming. And I really want to go. Don't get me wrong. I want to go. And it would be a lot of fun, but it just wouldn't be responsible. And I guess I'm kind of becoming an adult and growing up now and making responsible choices and decisions. But I'm still at Tinley this weekend, and that that's happening. So we got that. And I'll see both of them there. So there, there will be that time. And I'll make the responsible decision, the adult decision, take care of things here at home and make sure they're good and not leave my family for two weeks. <laughs> uh, sweaty, I'm hot. I should go get cleaned up. Um, let's go check in with Hillary. Hillary! She didn't adjust. Sanger then turned his Whoa, focus and- back. <laughs> What's up? Um, do you want to give us a little recap on this week, our weekend adventures, how you're feeling about all that? Um, can I do that in a few minutes? I mean, are you going to ask me questions? <laughs> it's so weird for me just to talk to a camera. I oh. feel like it's easier if I talk to somebody. All right, talk to me. I mean, now that I'm home and we're good and safe, I feel much better. For me, it was scary because breaking down in the middle of a windy mountain road with all the kids in the car. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I'm also kind of a chronic optimist. We could have broken down on a freeway going down to LA, side of the highway, middle of the highway. It was just like kind of like one obstacle after another, like one problem after another that we just had to figure out how to solve it. And we did and like had a couple people like really show up for us in big ways. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess maybe ask me in a couple days when we find out what's wrong with our car. (laughs) It's just frustrating. It's like we finally just financially got to like a little bit more of a comfortable place of getting out of debt. And then boom, we get hit with this and some other stuff. And so, you know, sometimes it just feels like it's hard to get ahead in this world in California. But we had friends let us borrow their cars I mean, we're just so blessed. That's kind of the moral of the story. I had a good cry, kind of just let it all out, and then I was then I was good. Just kind of one step at a time. Um, some funny moments. <laughs> Being in the airport with filthy post-camping children <laughs> while people are walking past us with their luggage. <laughs> Couldn't get a rental car. Just, yeah, lots of obstacles but everything worked out and um we just you're gonna take it from here what do you think about me not going to Thailand? I'm sort of happy you're not going i mean i'm i know it was gonna be a cool experience for you but you travel a bit as it is and this is gonna be a longer trip and um, i mean i think that fact that i'm feeling a lot better now pregnancy wise it made me feel better that like I have more energy and but it's just one less thing I have to worry about <laughs> and yeah just not the right time for us um from a financial perspective so Hi, not thanks. sad about it <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it Touche? what do you think about our car breaking down was that kind of an adventure I loved it because I got to go out of my seat explore <laughs> There's something exciting happening in here. Ooh, hello. Hello. That's Dot, and she is very gravid and going to be dropping her clutch any day now. Look at that. Just a big fatty McFat stack. She's going to be like GHI spot nose, bamboo, red stripe, and she het clowns. Yeah. And I'm gonna let her keep the eggs, see how she does. Any day now. I'm gonna take this T-Rex and convert it into a handheld microphone for Tinley. So if you're at Tinley and you see me wandering around with this T-Rex, it's because I'm interviewing people with a microphone that I'm gonna install into his mouth and like have the receiver go out his butt. And that's gonna be the thing. So how are you feeling about this show today? (laughs) Is that weird? Uh, Probably.